Smile. This is our group shot on getting ready to go fishing on Kodiak in Alaska. Yeah. We have the Golds here from Champaign, Illinois. Frank Minow, Jamie Hurst, Dr. Lamp, and Frank Nasera. So we're getting ready to go. We're going fishing for a halibut and we're going to do some lingcod and some sea bass today. All right, thank you very much. This is the boat we're going to be going on for our Alaskan adventure. We're here in Kodiak Harbor, Kodiak, Alaska. Now this is a hand gaff that is utilized for bringing in a big fish or out of the water and onto the boat, onto the craft. And you take it and you go boom like that so it sinks into the fish and then you get and pull it aboard. And this is made out of stainless steel. Can you cut it a little and, shorter? And it's, uh, it's particular uh, to this area. You don't see this in New England because they use a little different thing. Now, I have told the captain, if we get a big halibut, I want him to shoot the halibut in the water and not in the boat. I don't want him shooting the halibut in the boat because it puts a hole in the boat and the damn boat will sink. Now, if we get a two or three hundred pound halibut, how's one guy going to bring oh, that on? Oh, you got to get a couple of them. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Four. Yeah. So how many boats of those hooks do we have on board? Oh, we have about three. Wow. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. We're well equipped here. Okay. Does, do you have the fish or does the fish have you? Oh, I got him. I got him. Oh, oh boy. He's a poet. Oh, he doesn't want to get down the boat. He doesn't Come want your new address? Obadiah. Come to me, Obadiah. Stop. He don't want to change his address. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his new address is Buckingham, PA. Oh, boy. You fellas are going to be so sh so jealous when you see this fish. This is the best one we got so far. Oh, boy. This is no throwback, I'll tell you. <laughs> oh, hot diggity. Oh, oh, no, I'm not letting him take any line. I'm bringing him home. Oh, oh loose steel. Oh, look. Oh, look at he's taking it. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Doc, you're supposed to pull him in. Oh, yeah, we're pulling him. Oh, don't worry. Woo. Oh, loose steel. Oh, <laughs> wait till you see this one. You're all going to be so jealous. Oh, you better get the gun. This is a big one. Oh, yes. Look at him. Oh, it's a dandy. Oh, you are right. Oh, it's a dandy. Oh, it's a dandy. Oh, yeah. We're going to harpoon him. Yep. Where's he at? He's right down there. He's in the water. Oh. Bring him up. I am. I'm bringing him. He's going to harpoon this one. Okay, Captain. Easy Doc, you don't have them hooked very well, so be careful. Well, you want me to go forward? Yeah. You foul hooked them, Doc, so be careful. All right, Doc. Oh, Excuse me. Is he foul hooked, Bill? Yes, he is foul hooked. Up to the corner of that rail. All right. Raise him up just a little bit, Doc. Oh, he's got a. Don't let him get away, Doc. Oh, no. no. Hey, sir. There you go. There you go. Ooh, that hurt. Damn it. That's a big one. Right in the bone. That hook. And hook. That hard man's stuck. No, no. no. Doc, no. You got to get more on him. Big one. I'm going to bring him in again. Don't worry. <laughs> I told you I had a good one. Well, you thought, you know, mine is getting sort of lonely in that ice box. So. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> don't worry. We're going to change this one's address. That's oh, a nice one. Good, good job, Frank. What'd you get, Frank? Frank got a salmon. And Excellent. All right. Nice silver. Nice silver. Come on, Doc, hurry up. We're getting time running out of film. Over. He's coming. Yep, there we go. Nice All righty. 
Yeah, yeah whenever you get. <clears throat> I hit the infamous bone. I mean, I, I hit it as hard as I could hit it. It was not moving through. That's a beaut. That's a 10 pound silver. Ah, uh, he's 12. 12? Yeah. I'll tell you, at first, when I, I knew it was something hard, then I, I, I slacked one and I said, sucker, you run off. Oh, that's so a I beautiful a fish. Game. Beautiful fish, Frank. You gonna have that one stuffed? No. I stuff it days or over. <clears throat> What, you take the line off you, Doc? Oh, he's, he's, I'm take, I'm bringing him in. Don't worry. We're going to change this one's address. You're still changing addresses? Oh, yeah. First yeah, this is Obadiah. Well, you fellas are just all jealous. Boy, he doesn't want to come in. He's scared of you. He's got all kinds of holes in him. <laughs> Maybe they ought to bring the rifle out and shoot him. No, I think so. <clears throat> Not yet. Are you seeing them yet? Nope. These are our blood good Japanese maples here at Highland Hill Farm. We have larger sizes as well as smaller sizes, and we also have weeping Japanese red maples and also green maples. So give us a call, 215-651-8329. Um, where's my cameraman, Don? Hey, let's have my dad run over okay. here. Okay, I'll come around. <coughs> Hold that silver up, right? Uh, yeah, One second, I'm, I'm waiting. Where's that, uh, where's that little gadget? Right? Here, I'm here. Okay, he's, he's coming out again. No. There he is. There he is. It's Moby Dick. Oh, there he is. Well, now, Doc, don't don't be messing with him this time. Yeah, yeah. That'll be good. Well, there he is. Oh, he's back again, back for more. Okay, what happened? I lost. He was a I lost the wind. I lost the wind. He just took another run. He he saw that address book and he didn't like it. That. Howard, how long did it take you to get that fish in? Oh, it was a long while. It was a big fight. I'm telling you, but I changed his address. <laughs> I'll tell you, it was a dandy. Is and then the, the captain, when he when he harpooned it, he harpooned it in the in the spine, and it didn't go through. And then the fish took another run. He got mad at you. Oh, he was irritated. Oh. Yeah. Okay, very good catch. These are our two to three foot green giants that we have. These are in a number three pot. And they're a nice starter plant. There will probably be nothing that we deliver that will be below three feet. But we call them two to three foot because when we're measuring them, what's one, two, three, we don't count this little bit of a tip. So that we call that a two to three foot plant. And as you can see, we have about a couple, couple hundred maybe in here. We're on Route 313 in Fountainville, PA. This is Bill Hurst at Highland Hill Farm. And we grow quite a few of these. We have many different greenhouses full of different types of trees, plants, and shrubs. And if you want to come up, you can. You can pick out the ones you want, or we can deliver. We have trucks on the road all the time going to D.C., New York, Long Island, and all over. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. Thank you. These are dwarf Nandinas. They get about three feet high. They'll have red foliage throughout the winter white flowers in the springtime and red berries in the late summer.